Okay, so this video is intended for users who want to uh, install uh, MB on their Tizen TV. Uh, the problem with uh, any Tizen TV, I have a Q90R, if I'm not mistaken, it's an AK TV. And the problem is if you're on a region, uh, any region other than the US, and you try to install uh, MB using this, uh, this page, I'll put the link in the description, uh, you have to download uh, a zip file, put it on a USB, and then plug the USB on your TV with the files uh, on the root folder. And every 30 days, you got a message that the application cannot be executed due to expiration of the validity uh, period. I'm pretty sure the, uh, that the MB users uh, have seen this issue. If, you're, uh, if your TV region is uh, with uh, any other country than US, then you won't be able to download the MB application uh, on your TV from the Samsung uh, App Store. So you have to plug in the USB, install it, and every 30 days you'll get this uh, this message on your TV. So my intention in this video is to show how people uh, they can change the region on their TV uh, from any region to US and then uh, when they change the region they should be able to um, technically install the app without any expiration uh, without the MB expiration on their Samsung TV. So uh, things that you need to keep in mind is that when you do, when you want to do this, you have to uh, uh, go to your uh, settings on the TV, and then go to. Uh, let me just figure this out. You have to go to reset, and then it's gonna ask for your pin. If you haven't changed your pin, is usually four zeros. So you go one two three four zeros and uh, it says do you want to proceed with the uh, reset you you say yes so it's going to take some time for it to reset uh, now i have connected a keyboard to my tv just for the for the sake of uh, typing things easier. If you don't have a Samsung keyboard, that's fine. Uh, sorry, not Samsung keyboard, any, any keyboard connected to your TV, it's fine. So you see now it went to the, the process of, uh, uh, of resetting the TV. Uh, again, keep in mind, it's gonna reset everything. You're gonna lose all your credentials for whatever apps you have, Netflix, YouTube, Amazon, Apple TV or whatever uh, so it takes you to the initial page and then in here you technically uh, let me see if I can change the language <laughs> it's syncing the remote I guess okay the the remote is synced, you go to English and then uh, go to next page. Uh, now it's going to detect the HDMI's we're not interested in. Uh, skip. Uh, here you have to connect your uh, uh, wireless. So let me see if I can connect to the wireless. Typing it on the keyboard, make sure that it's connected to the wireless, your wireless, and then here, uh, just agree to all. Okay, yeah, here's a trick. In this page, you need to do this. Uh, so on page two, Smart Hub Terms and Conditions, uh, you need to do this. What you uh, need to do 
is uh, you press on mute, volume up, channel up, and then mute again. And it takes you to, uh, to changing your region. And then in here you go to, uh, you, want to ch you want to select uh, English, uh, US. So that's the, uh, the region that you're going to be able to uh, download the, uh, the MB application from the, from the Samsung app. So you go to United States, sorry for uh, going all the way, United, Arabs, United States of America. That's what you want to pick. So uh, my TV is, is, the region is Canada. If you don't do this, you have to, uh, you have to do this uh, installation uh, on the, uh, on the Samsung TV every, every 30 days and expires. So you select this. Uh, agree all or maybe maybe you don't want to agree all it, it's uh, it's okay for now okay and then it takes you to the Samsung uh, sign in so I'll do sign in I'm using keyboard here Uh, it's probably gonna ask for a verification code. You have to do this, but I can say it's on the next one. You have the code. You're done. First buy. Later. Uh, Logging to the Samsung account. Let's see if this works. Oh, this is for uh, ID creation. Yes. You don't want this. So, yeah, you're logged into the Samsung account. Uh, you don't need to back up things. Or maybe I'll do next. Oh boy. And then you can go skip in here. It's going to take the, uh, um, your connections. I might uh, remove this from the video, not necessary. It might take some time. What I'm interested is to show you that uh, after this change in the region, you, you should be able to, uh, to install the MB app from, from the Samsung App Store. But now this, this process, I guess, it has to go through it. I don't have any other option to, to move forward. So let's see how it goes. I can probably pause this. Yeah, pause next. Okay, next. And skip. And uh, done. We don't want this. I assure you, read enjoy. No. I guess you have to press yes. Uh, test your remote. Skip. Stop watching TV. Okay. And then you, in here you go to, uh, oh my God, so many things popping up. You go to apps. And you go to top on the top app search, and you type in. Uh, let's see if we can install MB. MB. And uh, you see it's right here. MB. Oh my God! It's. I guess it's uh, updating. Uh, the smart hub so let's just wait for it okay so the smart hub uh, uh, update might take uh, more than 10 minutes so just uh, leave your TV go back to the search again and uh, type in MB MB again MB and hopefully this time the smart hub yeah, it is, uh, it's updated so you can install it. So let it uh, install and then I'm using, I'm gonna use my keyboard uh, open. And perfect, so as you can see, uh, I have the MB in my uh, house. So I just select my user and type in the password remember sign in and there you have it guys with this uh, 
uh, workaround, your MB shouldn't expire, technically. So, yeah, this is a workaround to get rid of that uh, annoying every 30 days when you sell it from, from the USB. Uh, this is a workaround on that. You shouldn't get that message again. This uh, installation from the Samsung App Store shouldn't expire anytime and it should auto-update. Uh, so if if this video helped you guys uh, uh, Give me thumbs up if you didn't like it thumbs down as usual and Please like and subscribe leave me comments and I'll see you in another video. Thank you for watching again